hey and welcome back to the channel if you're new welcome as well so for this python video which is the second the third yeah it should be the third one so this is a question that we're going to be looking at or the problem that we're going to be looking at and as you can see i'm still here this is the python um interactive ide because my Python is still down and I've been working on a project which um, take, take the time away for me to go ahead and kind of figure everything out. So I'm just going to be continuing using this IDE here. Now looking at the question, it says uh, this total bridge is here. I'm not even sure what it's for. All right, so a customer in a store can purchase any one of the five items listed below. And please note, as you can see, this is bold. So you can realize that it is of importance. So it says any one of the items. There is only one item that can be bought. All right, so the prices of the five items are, and these are the prices for the five items. All right, so write, so it says write a, a program that prompts the user to enter the quantity and the item number of the product being bought. You should then calculate and print the subtotal of the sales or the sale amount of sales tax and the total and he says also that we should assume that the sales tax is six percent all right so now what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to declare this also the constant as you can see we have a a sampling of what it's supposed to look like Let's go ahead over to our ID and start coding. So first of all, as you can see there, I left the instruction is here, so I didn't have to put it over on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add some single line comments. So first of all, we want our author. So our author is Fedora Services Inc. And our date is as usual today. And I'm going to add my Instagram. So this is HTTP slash forward slash forward slash www dot actually Instagram dot com slash Fedora services and the Facebook is around the same so that's https or slash or slash www dot facebook dot com slash fedora services you can go ahead and check it out or check them out i'll leave a link in the description all right so let's go ahead and start our coding so the first thing that we want to do is I can say let's print this thing right here. So to print that because Python is a loosely type language and it's very easy and simple even though it's very powerful, which I really appreciate and I really love about it. We can mix in let's say in a sense we can mix integers and strings so to get the space what we're going to do is we're going to multiply an integer by a string or a character so let's go ahead and we are going to print out we're going to print out an empty space and we are going to multiply that empty space by 10 so that should give us the amount of space we need we can connect there with the, the comma and we're going to say point of sales system and we close our quotation and we close our brackets now we are going to declare a 
so we say declaration of constants and variables. So this is where you can see the importance of comments to just give a note of what we're doing in, a, in this instance. So in Python, generally what we do is to make constants we normally we normally just use well i think it's a requirement that we use i think it's a requirement that we use capital letters to do um, constants in python so we're going to say item so that's full caps all caps underscore one and that is equal to one point two Nine, five. As you can see here, it's all caps for the for the variable name for the constant name actually. So let's go ahead and add in the rest of these. Alright, so as you can see, I finish adding the constants here. And but uh, if you look here, it says six percent. So what we did was we changed this to decimal form because you know we can't just use the six percent like that so we have to change it to a decimal form so let's go ahead now and and give the user prompts and tell them what to do so we're going to say we're going to say print we're going to say something else print Alright, so our space here. Right. And we're going to say enter enter item number. So we're going to say enter item one, two, three, four, or five. Or five. Yeah. And let's close this here. And now we're, um, I was going to, well, I still could print the, all right, so I'm going to just going to print them one. I'm just going to go ahead and print a item. I'm going to say print these right here. I'm going to see if I can print them on one line here so i'm just going to have them all being printed here with everything on one line i'm going to separate it by that thing there that pipe i think that's what it's called pipe all right and this We're going to close this right here and we're going to remove the sales tax because this is not what we need here. All right, so let's go ahead now and we're going to prompt the user and ask them to enter the number that they want. So we're going to say we're going to have a variable. This variable is going to be called item no our number and where it's going to be an integer value and we're going to it's going to be an input also we're going to prompt them prompt the user to say enter the item number use that sign there and this code on thing here we're going to tab so the escape thing here should give us a tab and we're going to close our brackets. So this is an escape sequence that should give us a tab. Alright, so we're going to have our if statement. Now that will say if if the item number should not be greater than the item number should not be greater than 
um, five and it should be less and it should not be less than one. So let's go ahead and say if item no equals uh, equals zero. So it's the equation operation equality operation or if the item no is greater than five then what we're going to be doing is we're going to print out not allowed that should be sufficient and but what was that but if the item number but if the item number is not equal to zero or if the item number is less than five then we are good to go so we're good so we're going to have the quantity quantity of this would be the variable is equal to the input from the user the input and we're going to ask to enter uh, we're going to say enter enter the quantity because that's what, that's what we're asking to enter quantity yep and we do that escape t equals to get a tab i hope it works in here because it, it should have highlighted so let's go ahead and give this some space here. And we're going to start we're going to start to do our calculations to get four prices. However, I'm going to stop this video here and we're going to resume at a part two.